Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back uh, to another video on the channel. Um, hopefully you guys are excited for it. It's going to be, I don't really know the length. I always say it's going to be long. It's going to be short. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, we're going to talk about a few things that came out on Ultimate Team today. Uh, we just wanted down a little bit of a stream. I'm not on like a content kickback. I'm just kind of on like a little bit of a lesser full-on content period. And it's not because of anything with the state of FIFA. It's just for me. Just I got to like not be working as much as I have been for a little while just to get a little bit of a break. Nothing against you guys or the video. And the videos will keep coming uh, daily for sure. So I just it may be less double uploads in the next couple weeks than usual and back to schedule probably. But it, it, all, it all depends on the promos and things like that. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about a second channel review for Sane as well. I'm going to try my best to get that to you guys by Thursday latest. I'm trying to hold myself to that. Thursday latest um, is the goal there. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Um, we just, guys, we just completed. I wanted to let you guys know. I just opened my first batch of 50 upgrade packs. Now what I'm going to do, uh, I think by tomorrow or Thursday, there is going to be a double upload, which will be a re-upload of all the upgrade packs that I'm doing. And what are these packs? They're the 81 plus double upgrade packs. I'm going through and completing uh, a lot of these 81 plus packs per day. They're about 8K a pop. I'm doing these in hopes of getting, obviously, guys, more headliner untradeable cards uh, to the collection. Why do you want those? Why are they important? Why are they cool? Well, guys, they're uh, they're live cards, man. They're like ones to watch cards that already have upgrades and really, you know, they can upgrade based on the team this year. So we've already got an SBC in um in Adama Traore which I really do enjoy we also completed Chris Mullins we've got two in the club but I'm looking to add some that are not just SBCs I want to also get uh a couple of the ones that are in packs we have until Friday to do these and then what's really cool about the SBC guys this SBC is available uh for I think seven days so it's available till next Monday or Tuesday which is good because on Friday a new batch comes into packs for the headliner players which could be somewhat you know I guess useful to some people, right? That there's a new batch coming in, there's some new cards, and then you could do these and, and try to get some of the new cards. Although the pack weight seems to be shocking on the headliners because I opened 55 or so today. I didn't get any so far. What what I did, <coughs> excuse me, uh, start was Leroy Sané. Um, and I got his 87 squad crafted with the first 50 today. We've also got a bunch of, we got a bunch of 86, 87, 88s now that we're going to work on the 86. Now this card is really interesting, guys, because... At some point this year, it's going to be affordable. The reason why I say that is because it only has an 87, an 86, an 85, and an 84. And somehow right now, it's 560K. Now, what I mean is that at some point, it's going to be affordable. What I want you guys to understand, Hazard's SPC right now is 1.7 million coins. So Hazard's SPC has gone up 500K. And what that shows is the inflation of the gold market. So Hazard's SPC rose about a 30% increase. 25%. So give or take, if you subtracted that increase from Sane's SBC, there should be a point this year when this SBC is about 370, 360K before it packs back. There should be a point where that is the price of this card. And what I want to let you guys know, Sane's headliner as a 91 last year was always 500, 600, 700K on the market. So it's a pretty good price if this card does turn out to be 350K at some point. Why am I doing it now in an inflated market? I'm not. I'm crafting it. So I'm doing it with the 81 plus packs because I don't have anywhere else to put my walkouts. So I'm putting all my walkouts into this SBC, and that's kind of how I'm doing it. Now, just to talk about this card a little bit really quickly, high medium work rates is pretty good for an attacker. He's also six feet tall. He's got a three-star weak foot, which is okay. Not the best, but you can get away with this year. Four-star skills is good. He's got a little bit of a taller frame, which is not as good in this year's game, but it's also not the worst. 99 pace, 92 dribbling, 89 shooting, 87 passing, 79 physical. So what's interesting and weird about the card at the same time the pace is good but the acceleration is not 99 and i feel like at 99 pace he should have 99 acceleration he has 88 finishing which is great 92 attack positioning is also great shot power and long shots are good really you're gonna have to get to see is this guy good in game because hazard doesn't play that well in game and he's got remarkable stats for me you know some people you probably really like him i like that his short passing is 88 which is pretty good i like his curve i like his agility his balance is good composure is good dribbling is good Every stat here looks good. There doesn't really look like a bad stat. You're going to be having that three-star weak foot. What I also wanted to say today was fair play to EA, man. We I got to like give credit where it's due. Uh, there was a headliner challenge today with a 50K pack on tradable. Crazy. I mean, I, I think it cost 10K, but it's worth the it's, it's worth rolling the dice, especially with the inflation on the high-tier market right now. If you're planning on doing any of the player SBCs, it was, it's totally worth the, the dice, uh, the roll, because it, it really, man, that's crazy. For a 50K pack for like 10K... You guys might have stuff in your club. I know we didn't really get to speak too much about this Diego Costa uh, on the last upload, but I, I find this SBC interesting. Um, I find it interesting. 
I don't really know if I'm going to fully advise it. And the reason for that, guys, is that Diego Costa, um, unfortunately, has awful agility and awful balance. He's got 65 agility and 59 balance, which is just awful. That's really not good for a striker. Now, he does have some crazy other stats to make up for it. I'm just a little worried that, you know, unless you're crafting this guy from scratch, that he's not worth it because that agility and balance is awful. So it's really got to be a card that you really want uh, or you're planning on being okay with the low agility and low balance. I mean, that, that's really... That's really the tell the, the tale that I gotta I gotta say there. So uh, other things to talk about. Obviously the market, as you guys know, I I haven't been trading too much like recently. Um, at the moment my trans list contains a lot of the same stuff I had yesterday. I picked up two Aguero's at 240 today, and I'm gonna groove back into it. I think what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna do a big investment for Thursday. I believe the market this Thursday is gonna do really well uh, with everything out of packs. We're gonna do a big investment there for Thursday. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this current team of the week and what are my thoughts about it. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like a lot of people at the moment are kind of like not bored with FIFA, but just don't know what to do. So I'm worried that a lot of people might just try to invest in this team of the week for the sake of investing. Um, and that, that is a little bit worrying to me. Um, also I'm looking at the supply of some of these cards like Mars and I just don't like it. Um, Aguero, I'm not too sure either. I feel like a lot of people might be just trying to invest in this card because it's a record breaker. Um, it is a little bit more expensive. So I'm not too crazy about this team of the week as investing, you know, investments go. I think Rashford could go up a bit. I think he's in demand enough. Um, the rest of the cards, I'm not too sure. Now, also a huge question. We talked about it yesterday. When to buy headliners? Because I need some of these for my team, right? I need Neymar. I need some of these guys. I added Neymar today. Uh, and it looks like there's always points that he just doesn't look like he's going to drop. Um, and I wanted to kind of come out and say that to you guys. I just don't think this guy's going to drop. Now that I've seen it a couple days in a row. He just kind of goes like, he gets listed at like 42418, and then he sells there. But it just doesn't look like he's going to drop for the most part um, under that 4 mil mark. It just, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So we may have to settle with these guys. And I think with the lower tier headliners, who would I be talking about? Moreno, Alberto, Saul. Uh, these types of players, guys, I think you should look at these types of guys at rewards day. I think that a lot of these guys probably going to get packed a fair bit on rewards day, so you could wait. Uh, if you really wanted to on some of these guys, the higher tier guys, obviously you're going to get packed less. The Kyle Walkers, those types of players, probably you're going to get packed a little bit less uh, than some of those upper tier kind of kind of dudes. Now, where is the rest of the market at? Where is everything else at? It looks like a lot of the team of the years are starting to build up, which is good. Uh, outside of really messy and maybe Mbappe being down a bit, I can see that some of the team of the years uh, are definitely increasing at the moment. They're definitely doing a little bit better than they were the other day. There was definitely some high uncertainty with a lot of these cards. Van Dijk is now about 3.09, you know, 3.1-ish. So some of these team leaders are climbing, and I think that's a good sign for the market. I think it shows that there's definitely some interest. There's some coins in the market. I, in my eyes, that's got to be a good sign if you're looking at the market. Um, I would say if you guys are looking tomorrow to pick up anything for weekend league rewards, to do any of that kind of investing, look before that 1 p.m. date is my 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 uh, my tip. Look for before that kind of date because I just feel like if we don't really get anything tomorrow, I just can't really see the market like going much, much lower in the afternoon. I think people are just going to be like, hey, I'm going to start to buy players that I need. And I think that's kind of going to be the vibe that, that people are going to go for. So at the moment, guys, I mean, the way that I would look into starting trading now, it's tough, right? Because again, we talk about it. Like it's really hard to trade in a market that's inflated. It's not easy. It's not easy because you don't really know what, what cards to buy at. Uh, you don't know like prices that are good. It's just not, it's not, it's not a comforting feeling when you have cards that are just going up, even though it means things are selling more. It's not easy to always know what to buy. I would say if you see a meta gold, which would be like Varane, uh, you know, Sterling, any of these types of players that you see go up on Thursdays and you see that he's already up a little bit. I, I think you just buy in, man. I think they'll probably keep going up tomorrow and that will be just followed by even bigger of a rise come Thursday um, is, is my guess. Right now, what I'm looking at is like Raheem Sterling who was just like one, I think he was just on the market at 164. And it looks like now maybe somebody cleaned up, like cleaned up a bunch of them. And you know, now he's back at like 160. Now something that brought him down a little bit this week uh, was definitely, um, definitely, definitely, definitely Rashford. So I'm going to pass on this buy because really I'd have to get him at 160, you know, to really, to really enjoy that or want that as a buy. Um, so I'm going to back off of that. But guys, I mean, you, when you even see cards like Bale, um, and all these types of cards this high where you have this road to the final bail. that has been way overpriced all year, uh, all the way up at one mil right now. I mean, there's only two on the market, which is means it's just so rare. 
when you start to see these kinds of prices and stuff, you know that the market is either one, people are just not really playing as much, so they're not listing as many cards, but also, uh, secondly, just, just inflated, right? There's been a lot of inflation. I think a lot of these promos and people's saving packs and spending money is, is just kind of doing this kind of spiral approach of just inflating this market. And I think it's just continuing to happen uh, and happen and happen and happen. So at the moment, guys, there's not all that much to buy. Uh, and that's what's annoying, right? Because as traders, you guys always want something to buy. I would say just enjoy this week, guys, whether you guys are grinding drafts, um, you know, doing some of those SBCs. Just try to do that, man. Just try to enjoy it. I'm not going to go crazy, as I just said, with investing until tomorrow. I'm probably going to look at some cards tomorrow, look at some rises and rewards. I'm thinking this week, you might actually see some cards like Garincha and these types of cards going up at rewards, um, which hasn't happened in a long time where we've seen this kind of like real rise with some of these lower lower tier but still top tier icons. And I think that we may actually see that this week. Um, I could be wrong, but I think that people... I think this is a week where people are going to just kind of buy into stuff. Now, we do have another set of cards coming on Friday, uh, obviously, for a headliner, headliner promo. But what I will also, you know, just kind of like re, I guess, retell you guys, the second squads this year have never been as good as the first ones uh, for the most part. I think Scream's second squad was better. Uh, it's weird, though. I, I just feel like the second squads never have as much hype. So I would make a big recommendation, guys. Don't get caught up in like panic selling or freaking out that there's new cards coming on friday i really wouldn't get caught up with that the only thing that i would keep in mind uh is like if you have any informs that you guys think could get a headliner player just be careful but all in all i mean that doesn't even really matter too much because yes they got panic sold last weekend but these new headliners are just so expensive that you're even seeing cards that like weren't even really that down like Dries mertens like now their lower cards are just flying because people want to use the, the high card and so it makes it kind of that hard to get kind of concept and then you have this card flying so i mean i'm not even surprised at the moment but that's kind of the state of the market we're just in a really inflated market guys so that's kind of all i could tell you um that's where my account is right now i'm going to be probably looking to pick up some cards tomorrow and then as for my team you guys know that we had bought only one player because this is like an untradeable team just bought this neymar and he we bought him at 177 and he's now like two mil so i don't know i mean i'm expecting this card to probably go over two mil this weekend so we'll just kind of ride it out. We'll hold on to him until we can kind of 100% say that we we're ready to make the switch uh, to buy the new Neymar, which is obviously something that I'm not fully ready yet because I want to try to get him for four mil flat. But once I do get him at that price and I see him there, I'll buy him and I'll be happy and all that stuff. So we'll kind of see. I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. Guys, thanks for tuning into the video tonight. Do appreciate you guys, man. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a video. I'll see you guys for a video tomorrow. We, should, we might have a double level tomorrow because we might have the highlights of the uh, packs from the stream tomorrow night in the nighttime tomorrow. So see you guys then. Peace.